Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to make this Sneaky Raccoon slimline card using the Sneaky Raccoon stamp set by Gerda Steiner Designs. And for our the shape of our card, we're gonna use the slimline scallop dies by Trinity Stamp. So let's go ahead and get started by stamping our raccoons. So I'm stamping the raccoons in black memento ink, which is a Copic friendly ink, and I am using Express It Blending Card Stock, which is a very Copic friendly paper. It's my favorite paper for Copic coloring. The alcohol marker ink sits right on top of the page and it makes it really, really easy to blend. And I think you also probably use a little bit less ink than you would with other card stocks like Nina Solar White, um, which is another card stock that I use for Copic coloring as well. But right now I am just loving this Express It blending card. Okay, so I thought we'd give our card a fun pattern. So I'm using my quarter of an inch painter's tape to kind of block off these little angular sections. Um, I was thinking of this kind of like a prism card type of thing. I just thought it would be fun for each little squirrel to have their, not squirrel, raccoon, to have their own little compartment and then we can play around with some color swatching around them. So I've also masked off my images with some Simon Stamps masking tape that I stamped the image on and cut it out and then put it over the stamped image so that I can kind of color in my squares without worrying about um, coloring over any of the images while I'm adding in the background. So we're going to use some purples and blues for our little um, compartments here. So I'm using blue violet in BV00, 02, and 04 for the purple comp um, compartments. And then the blue compartments are B000 um, and then I think B00 as well. For the little squirrel on the bottom, we're going to give him a lilac background with B60. And then we'll color in the ground in another color in a second, just darkening up the little area around our little squirrels that are standing on the tree stump. Squir I don't know why I keep calling them squirrels. They're definitely raccoons. Um, and then we're just going to add some more lilac tones down here to our little um, raccoon in the trash can. I thought we put some grass underneath our raccoon on the tree stump. So I'm just using some G24 and G28, which is a nice um, green for grass. And then for our little trash can raccoon, we're going to um, put him on some pavement. So I just used some grays there. And then once we finish up with our background, now it's time to color in the little raccoons. So I'm just going to finish up the ground underneath the raccoon's feet. I'll peel up the painter's tape off all of our little compartments. And then you see that really, really pretty edging. I just love that design. It's kind of a fun way to, um, you know, it's, I've just been having fun with this card design lately. Um, it kind of takes the pressure off of having to figure out what kind of background to put behind your images. It just gives each little image their own little spot to kind of live. And then you can play around with color swatching, which I love to do. So for our trash can, we're going to color it in with some toner grays, which is my favorite Copic colors for aluminum. And I'm going to make sure that the little concave areas of the trash can are colored in a little bit darker just so that they recede into the background. And then we're going to add some trading shading under the trash can lid. Um, and then on the edges of the top of the trash can, and I'm going to leave the center portions pretty, pretty light just to help with the dimension for the little objects. And as you can see, when you put that little dark streak on the concave parts of the trash can, it just kind of recedes into the background. For our raccoons, we're going to color them in in cool grays. So I'm going to color in the little eye mask and the nose with some C3 as my base. And then we'll use C7 and C5 to color in the rest. And then for the face, we'll use a base of C1. Um, and then the darkest will go is C5 along the edges. So that's kind of how you get um, a nice distinction between the gray of the face and then the black of the little face mask without making it too black. It's just for the face, start with a um, C1 
background and or base layer and then for the little face mask start with a c3 and then just work your way up two or three shades in on each part and then you'll get like a nice um a nice little combination of blacks and grays there okay so this little raccoon is standing on a tree stump we're going to color our tree stump and our little piece of wood that he's holding with some e40s so i started with that base of either E42 or E43. And then we're going to add our shading with E47 and E44. And if you want to make it look like there are those little markings in the tree or the tree bark, then you just use some darker marker along the um, black lines of the stamp, which are the areas that would kind of recede a little bit into the tree. And that will help to um, give some texture to the tree stumps there. So I'm just gonna finish up my shading and then we can move on to our little raccoon who is hanging on for his dear life from this little tree branch here. Could use those same E40s for the tree branch. I'm just gonna extend the line of the tree with my Copic multi-liner so that it reaches the top and the bottom of the um, little compartment that the raccoon is in. And then we'll just shade our tree branch and then we'll add some G24 and G28 to the leaves. It's the same color I use for the grass. Um, and then for this little raccoon's body, I started it with a C3 along the body, which was a mistake. So he's gonna look a little darker than the other raccoons, but I guess that's okay. Um, and then his face mask is gonna be a little darker. His body is gonna be a little darker. He's gonna appear darker than the other raccoons. Um, so if you want him to be lighter, just start off his body with that base of C1 um, so that he'll turn out lighter in the end. Um, and then we're just gonna finish up the coloring on our little raccoon. I'm gonna add a, some little rosy pink to the ears. And now for our sentiments, we have hang in there, love you lots, and hi for the little raccoon on the bottom. I think I used all of the sentiments in the Gerda Steiner Sneaky Raccoon stamp set for this one. We'll peel off the painter's tape and then we have this lovely white scalloped edge. And then finally, um, we're going to attach this to a card base. I am using some deep purple card stock. I think this is from MFT Stamps. And then also I am using the special cut envelopes from Trinity Stamps that go perfectly with the slimline card. So that's all I have for you today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you give the Sneaky Raccoons card a try. It's a lot of fun and anyone you send this card to will certainly love it. Have a great day and I will see you again soon in the next video.